Hello again everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how to clean your computer with CCleaner. Well first, if you don't have CCleaner, you go on Google and type in CCleaner. Right here, CCleaner. Oops, sorry. C cleaner. Just press on C cleaner. Go on a free download right here. First one. And then you click on download. Um, I really like it. It's free. There's also a professional version for it, which costs money, but it works perfectly fine if it's free, so I just downloaded the free version. Which is, which works perfectly fine. All right, so let's get to the cleaning process. All right, here we go. Okay, we're going to the cleaner. Windows, cookies. So everything you want to be erased, uh, not permanently, temporarily. Like all data, all cookies. You check that thing. Uh, last download location if you want that to be erased you click on check if you want to save passwords to be erased um, you just check well this is not going to erase your password it's just it's not going to automatically you it's not the computer's not going to automatically log you in on YouTube Google Twitter Facebook whatever so if you want that to be deleted you just click on a check so network passes, anything you want to be deleted, you press on a check. You just got to be really careful because if something you're not 100% sure you want to delete, your computer can have a serious problems after that. So if you're not 100% sure that you want to delete this, then don't delete it because your computer will have serious problems after that. So after you fix it, after you see whatever you want, want to delete go in applications which goes to a different browser um, I have more more things that can be deleted because I use Mozilla more than I use Internet Explorer so it doesn't really matter so once again anything you want that to be deleted you just click on a check and then you just click on analyze so I would suggest you should do this process like once a week because after a, like a week your computer can get a lot of stuff in it but I'll just cancel it because it takes a long time so once it's done you press on run cleaner this process with permanent delete files you say ok and if you want you click on do not show this message again Press on OK. I just cleaned it, so I don't really need anything to be deleted. So on to the registry. Our registry is in your computer, which keeps track of everything you do. You download a program, it says like, download Microsoft Office PowerPoint 2003 at 5.45 p.m. And if you do not clean it, it gets all of these issues and which makes your computer work very slow so if you want to speed it up first you go on scan for issues you click on everything you should be checked here if you want the maximum um, speed of your computer so then you go and fix selected issues do you want to back up changes to the registry you click on yes because if something gets deleted, then you do not, that's it. Because if CCleaner messes up by accidentally, then you will have a backup ready. So you click on yes. And then you make a new folder by clicking the right, right clicking, you go on new, and then on folder. And then just whatever you want to name it, it's like oh, it's called CCleaner backup. Okay, and then no items, save it. And then, well, if you have a lot of issues, it's going to say fix selected, fix issue, or fix all issues. 
If you want to just fix one issue, you click on fix issue. If you want to fix all issues, you click on fix selected, fix all selected issues. Then I'm just going to click on fix selected issue fixed. And I close, and that's it. On to the tools, on your startup. You have tons of programs that do not even open when you start up your computer, which makes it slow down when you open your computer. Let's say it's easy print. I don't even see anywhere easy print. You see easy print? You see easy print? I don't see easy print anywhere. So why the hell do I need it? It's just going to slow my computer down. So I'm just going to go like this. Either you click on delete it or disable. If you really have easy print somewhere in your computer then and you need it, then you will click on disable. So when you start the computer, it's not going to automatically start like Skype and Microsoft Word Power PowerPoint or Office 2007. So if you need it, you'll just click on disable disable and that's it so see cleaner you have to do this like once a week because every week your computer will get a lot of stuff in it so I would suggest cleaning it like once a week if you have any questions or stuff about C cleaner that I don't know just comment me and I'll be more than happy to know thank you for watching Oh, and don't forget to hit the like button.